This podcast is brought to you by Two More Reps Coffee Beans. Get your two more reps with this natural pre-workout. Buy your bag at twomorereps.com.au. Welcome to another edition of the Paul's Body Engineering Podcast. Today, I've got two very special guests on board, um, and they're kind enough to give up their time all the way from New Zealand. They are Simon and Steph Collins, and they are the first uh, promoters to bring, to officially bring WMBF to this part of the world. Now, they're obviously doing it in New Zealand, in Christchurch, and the show kicks off next weekend. Um, and fortunately for me, I'm very excited to be a part of the show and, and competing as an athlete. But I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get them on and talk about how it evolved, how they got to this point, because they've had to endure COVID. Um, the idea came about a few years ago. Um, they're both WMBF competitors. In fact, Steph holds a number of world titles. So it made sense for them to do this and, and run this show. And they've got big visions, big plans. And it's really, really exciting for natural bodybuilding. So without further ado, let's chat to them and find about find out all about it. All right. Team New Zealand, WNBF. How are we going? How are we going, guys? Oh, we're brilliant. We're brilliant. You're brilliant? Yeah. <laughs> Better than you because we're not prepping at the moment. No, that's right. Out of the three of us, I'm probably the hungriest, so I'll, t- I'll take that. Yeah, so. You can't, can't see my cheekbones or anything like that. So. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, the gaunt prisoner look. Isn't it funny? Yeah. I mean, you, you guys have both done it, so you know what it's all about. But um, you don't envy anyone at this stage, I'm sure. <laughs> no, we've been there many times, so, you know. Embrace it like you are. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, 100%. You got, you got to, you know, you choose to do it, so you've got to embrace it. 100%. So um, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get you guys on because obviously you were about to host the first ever WNBF in New Zealand next weekend in Christchurch. It's been a long time coming. You've had a lot of hurdles and battles and roadblocks to overcome. Um, but I thought, it, it, you know, leading into this, and get, let's get some excitement about it. Um, it'll be a great opportunity to chat. But before we do that, Simon and Steph, do you want to um, take us through your background? Um, you know, fitness history and background, and then what made you decide to jump into promoting a, a bodybuilding show? Okay. Uh, well, for myself, um, my fitness background started relatively later on in my life. Uh, 2014, I started competing. Um I competed with NABA. Uh, I was the uh, national champion in Ireland with NABA. And with yeah, wow. NABA. Yeah, I competed internationally, NABA Universe. There's a long list of achievements yeah. coming here. Sounds like it. Yeah, <laughs> that's all right. It's like a lot. So, yeah, um, a lot of national titles, basically. Since since I started competing, 2014 was my first year to compete, and I placed second in my first show. That was with NABA. And uh, thereafter, I just hit first the whole way. So NBFI wow. was the first introduction then to natural bodybuilding. Um, Dara, NBFI are like the, were the Irish WNBF affiliates. Yeah. Okay. Called natural Bodybuilding Ireland. Uh, natural mm. Bodybuilding Federation of yeah. Ireland or something like that. Okay. NBFI uh, stood for. Um, and that was my first um, time competing with natural with a natural federation and i just haven't looked back since so i competed uh, i won that i won the title that year in 2016 and i went and defended that title again in 2017 and 2017 then went to the worlds i I think it was boston at the time Mm -hmm. and uh myself and simon went over and that year i took two pro cards i'd end up uh bigger and then I had also entered Fit Body, not knowing, you know, where my physique would, you know, be suited to. Mm-hmm. The other thing was I just loved the the posing. Uh, I was a posing coach in Dublin as well, and okay. helping other competitors with their posing. But uh, for for figure, just doing the quarter turns, I wanted to do more of the the actual, you know, the bodybuilding, the posing, the muscularity pose, of course, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the, that's the fun stuff. 
Absolutely. Exactly. And then because in WMBF, the figure competitors do it, it's just all symmetry focused. Yeah. So yep. there's not really any poses in particular. It's no. more just quarter turns. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of quarter turns um, to, to assess the yeah. competitors, but it's not quite the same as hitting like a, you know, a front double bicep or something yeah. like that, you know, if you're, if sure. you're bodybuilding. This is it, yeah. So the, the whole, you know, one of the aspects and the art, the art, I suppose, in bodybuilding is displaying your physique, isn't it? And learning the poses. So, so absolutely, anyway, that was why I'd entered the two categories, and and you know, it was yeah, amazing. I'd, I'd won the pro uh, for both. Yeah. So she, she basically, we went over. We'd been dating for maybe six months, yeah. And she said, "Do you want to come over with me?" And I said, "Yes." And then she said, "Do you want to help me with my?" sort of coaching yeah. meal prep and training and stuff. So I ended up coaching her towards the end. Yeah. yeah right. Over there, 2017, dieted right down, won both her classes, a pro card in each class in the world, yep. first in the world amateur. And that was our first, that was our first real introduction to WMBF, the Federation yeah. Internationally, just how big it was. It yeah. was yep. spectacular. It was absolutely yeah. enormous. Um, and the, the main thing that stuck with, I think, me, was just the effort that they put into their competitors and the right. way they treated their competitors. They thought of everything. They thought of mirrors backstage. They thought of where people would be sitting. They sort of, mm. they sort of set up tents and areas where people could be. It was, um, it was next level, you know? And so, yeah, that was, our, that was really my first experience with WMBF. Yeah. Um, and, and Steph then competed. You might as well finish off because you competed the year after as well. Yeah. So, um, I obviously, like yourself, I had aspirations to compete as a pro. So went and uh, did the Worlds again because I like a challenge. Um, sure. Uh, placed third in my country. Wow. Spent, spent plenty of money because one trip to Boston, the next year was LA. Yeah. You know, and yeah, yeah it was, that was the LA. And then Simon so competed there at the Worlds as well. Yeah. So, I mean, his first um, outing as an amateur and, you know, yeah. the, the male categories as well can be very competitive, the bodybuilding. Oh, 100%, yeah. He plays third. I saw, so I saw her and I saw these guys there and I went, no, I can beat them. I'll have a crack next year. Because <laughs> I was sitting here just like, I was a Kiwi. I was over in Ireland for about, you know, two or three years. And I I competed before that myself. We actually mm-hmm. competed the same year in 2014, but I was in New Zealand. So I competed. Okay. My first show was an INBA show, I think. Yeah. Uh, which has since disintegrated here in New Zealand, unfortunately. Just, uh, I think it's just no one willing to take on on the federation, and it takes a lot of effort to yes. run the federation and to yeah. run shows. Yeah, of course. Uh, and and of course, I see in New Zealand has taken off um, significantly, which is re- which is really good. It's really good for yeah. natural bodybuilding. Um, yes, absolutely. But yeah, so and my first my first show in Ireland, I think I'd competed about fourteen yeah. times before then, like with NAB, oh, wow. NAB, WFF in New Zealand, and I competed with a federation in Germany called NAC, which was NAC. like a, yeah, that yeah, ah. they were, they were, it was untested, and I turned up there. There was a couple of us Kiwis, and we were natural, and no one else was. <laughs> that was pretty yeah. evident. <laughs> and that sort of put, put me right in saying, well, look, if I don't want to do this sort of thing. Yeah, you know, I, I want the health aspects, the longevity yeah. aspects, and I also want the. For me, natural bodybuilding is about you challenging yourself. Mm. Right? You know that I know how far I've gone naturally. I yeah. know how far. I, you can't say that if you start taking, you know, any PEDs, you don't know how far you could have gone yourself. Yeah, that's and true. For me, it's more of a challenge, and yep. you know, that and that's one thing that that's why WMBF really sort of caught my attention mm. when we both competed. So I won. The next year after she won all these sh- um, shows, I went, I'll compete with MBFI as well. Let, let's see. Yeah. And so I won I won my class there. I qualified for Worlds. I went over mm. to Worlds and I got I got third. And there was, I thought I looked good. <laughs> but there was just some, you know, you, you think, you know, you've done everything you can and then you just see these genetic gods and you go, well, okay, still a long way to go, you know. Yeah. yeah. To go and that yeah. sort of <laughs> What blew my mind as well going to the Worlds was seeing the calibre of these athletes, the the physiques, they were phenomenal. And I was like, everybody here is natural. Like my first introduction to bodybuilding uh, was purely by accident. And somebody made a a flippant remark in a gym one day and I said, yeah, why not? I'll do it. Um, And never knew that there were, you know, natural federations. No one, no one, no one thought she was natural. Basically. Yeah, right. Okay. This was the this was the thing. I kind of went in Ireland. I was like, I'm fed up now. People saying to me, so so, what did you take or how did you do this? Yeah. Or whatever. And 
I just thought, no, guys, that's that's it's the ultimate thing. compliment for a natural athlete, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose, but um, it's sad because nowadays yeah. people, everyone thinks to get a reasonable physique in the gym, yep. you have to be. And, and and this is kids. This is seventeen, yeah. eighteen year olds that are talking. I mean, the other day when I was training, there was a couple of fourteen year olds in front of me th- talking about their first cycle. I mean, oh, Jesus. Like, what? what? <laughs> they haven't even developed properly yet. Like this is adults. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I, so coming back again to WMBF Worlds, when I had seen the athletes on stage there, they would annihilate any enhanced. Yeah, that's it. Seasoned, seasoned athletes. Yeah, absolutely. So obviously you've had a very extensive competitive history, career, if we will, for both of you. So what made you go from athlete competitor to promoter? That's a big leap. He wanted to do it, so I said, okay, I'll, I'll support whatever he wants to do, you know. Okay. So, so we met uh, the vice president and president of WMBF when we were in Boston, obviously, Gosh. and again the year after in LA. Um, and so we built quite a, a reasonable relationship with them, um, Bob and okay. Tina Bell. And um, <clears throat> from there, I just thought I'd try and impress Stephanie and said, oh, look, if we're going to move over to New Zealand, we might as well start the federation up ourselves and run our own one. <laughs> we can do it. That kind of thing, and I just sort of said it. You know when you, you know when you say something and you go, Jesus, what am I saying here? (laughs) Well, I've got to do it now. Yeah, Uh, yeah. So, and and to be honest, I've 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 seen a number of shows. I've really enjoyed um, competing, and I've seen them run, and I know how difficult it is. I didn't didn't realize how many things you have to juggle when you first start out a federation, though. I think Mm. probably the hardest thing is because you're basically by yourself. You've got no volunteer base. You've got no, no. supporters. You've got no competitors. But to add on top of that, we had just moved country. Um, my my competing has taken a sabbatical because we had a baby and, you know, everything that's involved in that. So we had moved country, had a baby, and we're supposed to be now promoters of this new federation here. But we're making history. This is the thing. There has never yeah. been a WNBF uh, affiliate in New Zealand, and it's been tried before. And yeah, I, right. It came to fruition because it was so difficult here. Yeah, I can imagine it would be. It, what, what's the the like you mentioned? ICN's going pretty good over there at the moment. What's the the natural bodybuilding scene like in New Zealand? Is it pretty popular, or is it it's, is there like you just mentioned about the enhanced athletes or the the introduction of that? Is that is that taking over too much? I, I think it is. Well, from my um, from my perspective, anyway, having competed in in Ireland, and mm. I mean bodybuilding is huge in the UK. Yep. And it's very popular in Ireland. Not so much here, I found. In New okay. Zealand, it's not as popular. Um, and then... Smaller I, population, though. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, uh, yeah, less less interest in it. But where the, where I do see the interest is people talking about IFBB and if they want to go pro, they got to do this and they got to take yeah. it. And this is where I turned around from competing with... Um, untested federations and i don't want to make it a you know them very of course no no i I want to be honest and um i want to say that i stopped when i realized that a federation was okay with me putting my health on on the line for their own gains Mm. because there's other federations over here that promote me being natural want me to be natural want me to have longevity in in, in sport and yeah i just that's a fair point. Like, I, I you know, in, uh, in Australia is very similar. Like, uh, uh, WNBF Australia only got announced that they're starting up like the other week. Um, so we're, we're very, very unfamiliar with WNBF over here unless you've been overseas or unless you've been a, a seasoned competitor for a long time. People don't realize how large it actually is and oh, how, so you know, where it is around the world. Um, so I think you guys are obviously going to be trailblazers down here in the, in yeah. the Southern hemisphere to, uh, to create that that um i guess um enthusiasm around it and you know hopefully more australians will jump across the ditch and uh and compete over there too certainly becoming you know parents as well i kind of looked at this and you know i i just want people to see that there is really really amazing natural athletes if you're interested in bodybuilding challenge your body challenge your mind be happy Mm. about it and there's a federation here that's that now we're going to give a platform to anybody who wants to be natural and who wants to be judged against their peers on a level level playing field. There's no getting on our stage thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to be as big as this person or as good as that person. Everybody's had, had the same tools, yep. essentially. 
So, so perfectly for your for your Australian audience, mm. New Zealand's pretty much set up the same. So IFBB in Australia is the you yep. know you have guys like Joseph Mintz are pushing it everywhere. Some really high profile guy, like an, an amazing group of people running that mm. federation. It's similar in New Zealand. They've built up for a long time. They've put a lot of energy, a lot of effort into mm. it, and good on them for doing that. Um, and then you've got your other federations, and in New Zealand, it's ICN has taken off, and they've done they've done very well. Um, okay. And it's quite um, because we've got such a small competitor um, pool over here um, that it's quite diluted in the natural bodybuilding scene. Um, okay. So ICN are now doing really really well. No one really knew about WMBF, and I think in Australia there was a WMBF federation there prior but it was a female only it was female only yeah the awmbs yeah so i had originally thought well we'll get in here we'll take australian competitors as well first yep. and then now this one started up so now yep. i'm looking going i'm saying well hold on they're paying membership fees to us first you know because we've we've done this we've done this for australian competitors as well because we thought right well, australians can't become a pro in australia yet they have to travel to the u.s well we can give them the opportunity this year Next yep. year, WMBF Australia really kicks off, and we'll be 100 percent behind them because we yep. we want an Oceania battle. Yeah. We oh want, yeah. We want, yeah. We want yeah. we want to bring yeah. it in as well. We you know well, why not do something like that? I yeah. mean, yeah. Um, I mean, we're just at the cusp here. We're at the very beginning, and uh, oh, the world's your oyster. Absolutely. We're really excited about this to be able to give people a platform and access yep. to the best bodybuilding, natural bodybuilding federation in the world. So well, that's it. We would send we would send athletes over to the US to the worlds, um, even Australian athletes. If they registered with us and competed, yep. us, won their pro card here, they would be a WMBF Australia pro. We would basically mm-hmm. send them and hand it over because okay, we do really well as well. So you would, if 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 someone from Australia competed with us at the moment, um, then they would effectively become a uh, if they won the pro card, they would become a WMBF Australia pro, and they would mm-hmm. be Australia in America. Um, that's just the way it, we're sort of working together. We we don't see any, you know, there's no we no rivalry. No, we don't. We, we, there's no rivalry there until yep. we compete against each other. Um, yep. Until there's a team yeah. NZ and a team Australia. Yeah. Well, absolutely. Like, yeah, you could you can compete on the world stage, but like, like the Oceania battle thing, that, that sounds amazing. You know, it, it just show showcases how much more opportunity there is. Um, down this part of the world, that's fantastic. Yeah. Let, let's go back a step. Talk, talk to me. Like, so obviously you've you've gone right. We're going to make this happen in New Zealand. So I'm assuming that was three, four, five years ago, give or take, no. <laughs> no, or well, longer than that. No, no. It was no. 2020. 2020. It was 2020, was it? It was yeah. 20, 2019. Was when we when we when he yeah. had this idea. When I ah was okay. So, you, 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 I, so I was in, we were living in Dublin and I was like, how do I get this set up in New Zealand from Dublin? Right. So I was ringing, I rang the guys at WMBF Australia or AWN, whatever it was. Called. Yeah, AWNBS, I rang yeah. those guys and said, how can we get, we want to get set up in New Zealand. So we're just touching base with you. Do you have any male competitors? I was, I was just putting feelers out to see how it would get started. Yep. And soon realized that, you know, we were planning on moving back to New Zealand and we just had to time it right. So we, the reason that we wanted to set it up, we had one international reputation was there. The caliber of the athletes. If you've seen WNBF yeah. athletes, you know, yes. they are top class. Yeah. Um, and the number of countries that are affiliated, there's, I think, over 35 mm. now around the yeah, world. Well. So yep. you know, um, and the testing standards are, yeah. are far superior than, than, you know, the recent show that you did. I don't mm-hmm. know do I think there's polygraphs there. I know. No, I know no polygraphs. No, just just uh, uh, urine test for the that's overall winners. I think. That's yeah. the point of difference because yeah. there's yep. people. You, you, I mean, six months ago, you could have been taking whatever you wanted, and yeah. you stop it for six months, you can pass a urine test. That's before. right. Two weeks. So, I think. so the polygraph, yeah. although you know not admissible in court, as everyone everyone likes to say, it seems to be every fake natural likes to say, oh, but polygraphs don't mean anything. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, it's a bit of a deterrent to know that you're going to be plastered all over social media for failing a polygraph. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. That you're a, a natural competitor. Why yep. would you try? So yeah. it deters everyone. So immediately our competitor pool drops again. So yep. less people to choose from. Yeah. Which makes it which makes it hard and it's and it's more expensive. Yeah, because as well, you have to consider there are probably some people out there who started off their bodybuilding career, got one or two years into it, got some poor advice, 
to mm. someone who didn't like it. And that's it. They're out with us now. Yeah, them. one one bad decision. That's and it. We, listen, we've all made bad decisions in our lives. Yeah. You know? So unfortunately, but again, it just goes to show, you know, when you compete, it is natural. We're not just a, a natural federation. We're not just going to call our show the natural show. No. Genuinely natural. Yeah, and so and and I guess just just to your to your point, what what how we got it how we got it set up is when we came over here, we, Steph was pregnant uh, with our son, uh, mm-hmm. and so we thought, for, crazily, I thought, no, we'll still we'll still do the show and <laughs> <laughs> ambitious. I'll, I'll, I'll run it by myself. Like what was that? Like, you know, with a son on the way, we didn't yeah. even have a house. We, you know, we just. <laughs> No, I was like getting serious FOMO watching like everyone that I knew yeah. as well back home competing and I couldn't yeah. do it. So I thought, you know, let me just channel this, give it to somebody else and give yeah, them, right. push them onto the stage. So, you know? so thankfully COVID saved us. Let's <laughs> 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 just say we weren't quite ready, yeah. Um, yeah. but we were really keen. And okay. I think, I think COVID, like although disappointing in 2020, it was probably mm. the best thing that happened for us, just delaying it. It was going to make it chance. too difficult for us as well. Yep. You know, trying to partner with all the other suppliers and subcontract- subcontractors that you think about that we would need. Yep. And then everybody's getting, you know, um, even the, the restrictions that you have to apply. Yeah, well, that's it. The travel restrictions, the masks, the heat testing, all. Yeah, no, yeah it was We didn't want very... to, to, to blast on to the scene as our first show. Yep. Everyone's wearing masks. It's going to be in history. It's it's going to be the first time WMBF has ever been here. And all the pictures that will go back to the first show, people are in masks. Wearing masks, I know. Nah. Yeah. Nah. So, so that was a that was um, COVID v one. Let's say mm. um, 2021. We got a little bit further along. We actually had okay. a show up for Auckland. Um, we had a venue. We had we we're starting to get. Um, sponsors we yeah. had some judges ready we actually had a few competitors we had i think before we pulled the plug we had a good i think 25 competitors yeah. um, oh, that's a good start yeah i mean like you can from the guidance that i've had all, all natural federations if you're starting out if you can get over 20 competitors to your first show and yeah this grows exponentially from there of course it does that's the thing and so i mean we got that 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 far and it was you know it was looking like it would have been you know, it would have been doable, but the difficult thing for us when we realised that COVID was going to still have impacts, mm. was that we were still we were based in Christchurch in the South Island, and Auckland is you know Sydney to Brisbane away. Yep. Well, actually less than that, but this similar similar kind kind of thought process. So we thought actually us setting this up is going to be too difficult with COVID, with all these restrictions, mm. with the fact that we can't. There's so much uncertainty. It was hard to get sponsors because everyone was being taking a hit financially. All the business, of course, was, yeah. What are we gonna? We can't spend our advertising budget on on mm. on on something that's unproven for a start, and we don't have advertising budget anymore because COVID has taken all of that. So, yep. One of those that that happened, and then like <laughs> third time's a charm. So it's it's happening now. Um, it, it definitely is. How, yeah. How many, how many judges decide to pull out? It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> So we you know we we we're happy that we've really pushed through. I think one other thing that was very hard was you don't hear much about lie detectors or polygraphers in yeah. New Zealand or Australia and you try and find one. Um they you know per test is like 8 900. dollars Yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. And it's for private investigators, husband mm. and wife cheating on each other. They're yeah. Crazy. There's a, there's yep. a lot of those. it's really it's really strange. But um we got it. We've got we've got in touch with a really good South African guy who's over here now, um, and he is he used to test people in the mines in South Africa, and they, ah, okay. and they roll, roll them out, roll them out all the time. Really, yep. quickly. he was one of the only ones that said, "Look, we can do what you want in your style. Roll them out in twenty to thirty minutes per test, yeah, but make them legitimate." I, originally, the 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 polygraphers that we were talking to, they wanted to have the competitors in a room for three hours. Oh my god! Wow. You know, it's hungry not, athletes in a room for three hours. It's not quite that level. The questions yeah. aren't that difficult. Have you read the Wild the Band list? Yeah. Taken anything on this list? And then exactly. You know, it's not kind of like you have to go into detail for an hour. No, no. Questions. But it, it, I mean, it is still, you know, 
it's it's pretty full on. Like I remember the first time I yeah. was tested, and she failed. She failed the first one. Oh really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> because of nerves, it wasn't it wasn't like a fail. You could just show yeah. you how, how strict the tests are. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> we, did them to, we did them together in America, and um, I mustn't have been as nervous. But you 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 sit in a chair, and you've got a guy looking at you, and yeah. you're in a courtroom, and it's quite stressful, and it's hard to you know relax basically so is he reading your body language as well as obviously the machine taking you know the the whatever the scoring is or whatever um so th- they will do i mean i don't i don't really think we should talk too much in detail about yeah. okay. when people are going to do the test um you know we don't we we don't want to kind of make it seem like you could you know bake it People, you know, yeah, or, yeah, or, yeah. Or, you know, you can, you can tell. Or then, people, you know, people, just yeah. comment that you've made. Now, somebody is going to turn around and say, "Oh well, uh, oh, I didn't actually really take any drugs. I failed it because of nerves." So, that's, so, so what? So what? That's ha- not what. That's not what happens. So what? So what? So what happens is that when they do, when they do, just, just, just for a little bit of a into into the polygraphs, because I want to say this, yep. is that they do a lot of te- uh, a lot. They ask a lot of questions to get you set into it. And mm-hmm. so when you're in there and you're always a little bit nervous. They sort of plan for that. So they'll ask you, you know, straightforward questions to get you into the right environment. And so when you when you trip those things, it's like, well, they'll keep they'll keep going until you're settled. Yep. And then they'll start going through the questions. But what will happen in ours, and I won't go into detail about what happens in the No, 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 no always. But the examiner, who's a very highly educated and highly qualified person, We'll, we'll sit down with a, a group of the competitors before they go into the polygraph and explain what will, how it will go through, how, what will happen. Um, you sign a, you sign a waiver and a consent form and you go in and that's it. No one can, no one communicates with you. You can't take your phone in there. Yep. They will ask you questions and then you leave the room, pass or fail. And, um, that's, that's kind of how. So it's... basically, if you fail the polygraph, everyone's going to be polygraphed. And if you fail the polygraph, you're out. You don't get. You're out. Yep. No, fair enough. No, that's it. I mean, like like we said at the start, WMBF has set a very high standard, and yeah. you guys are obviously and emulating that. To the point that I remember being tested off season in Ireland as well. Yep. They randomly, you know, they they obviously can't get to everybody, but they will randomly just select a few people. Um, and yeah, you'll be tested in your off season as well. Yeah, so of course. You know, yeah. you'll, you'll be asked to turn up at this time to this place, do your test. So we so we polygraph everybody, every competitor. Yep. Yep. Um, we urine test um, the pro card winners. Okay. It's, you, doing, it's just an do, added do, do, do them do it, you know because they pros are held to that 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 really high standard. The amateurs are as well, but to polygraph and urine test mm-hmm. everyone, um, mm-hmm. there's, a, there's a certain level. It wills you get both. Yep. Uh, so can yeah. I give anybody? A, a little tip here for yeah. the urine urine tests. Yeah, I, I remember the first time I was tested, I had done the silly thing where I did the water manipulation and dehydrated and all. That's that's silly. Don't do that. Anybody? Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> it's terrible. Don't listen to a coach that tells you. To yeah, put we we have, we have, we have Eric Helms right. on the Eric Helms on the so, judging panel, and he would. I, be, I saw he that would be looking at uh, looking at her, going, "What were you why, thinking?" Why? <laughs> that's so. But anyway, when I had to do my urine test, I was there for God knows how long because yeah, I I've, be. I've been in that situation too, and not only is it yeah, look and the show. I wanted to go and see my friends. I was basically you can't leave. Do, you know, walked off the stage, and I was not allowed to talk to anybody until I'd eat. <laughs> So just there's a tip. <laughs> oh, do you have an experience? I know. Um, you just mentioned uh, obviously pro card hold uh, pro cards, so obviously they're uh, um available to now. How does this work? Uh, obviously in Australia, the majority of pro cards are awarded to an overall winner. Right. Is that similar to what you guys are doing? No, because unlike you know federations, even here in New Zealand, uh, you know I've seen federations have a winner of a category or an overall winner and there you go happy days pro card yep that won't be happening with us if you're a winner well done and if you are an overall winner double well done but you need to be exceptional you need oh so it's judge's discretion absolutely right i like that 
we, we have judges discretion but we also have uh an international panel from yeah. from wmbf uh, international okay the, uh, during the show there's a, a live stream but there's also um the judges will be taking notes as well as as there'll be some images as well sent you know of of, of um potential um pro card winners and it will get assessed yep. because in New Zealand, uh, it's probably the same in Australia when it starts, that depending on the size of the show. Mm. Well, normally in, in the US, they'll say you have to have five competitors in a class. You then have to win that class. Um, if you've at least got five, you can be offered, you can, you'll win a pro card. If gotcha. You, you know, but if we don't have that number, which is unlikely we're going to have five in all mm. classes, we then have to go to a, new, a different level. And basically, we, we've seen some pros that aren't pros and yeah fair enough we don't feel comfortable saying you're going to represent WMBF New Zealand and you go over there in America Mm -hmm. and you get wiped the floor with get smoked yeah Yeah. it gives people a false sense of where they're at absolutely I also think it it ruins the prestige of a pro card when when everyone's just getting a pro card you're handing them them out left right and centre yeah Yeah. but I mean it goes back to the point about having a high standard you know WMBF has a high standard for their athletes and that's it, fair enough. It, it, it may annoy a few people. And, and look, I'm not, well, saying, I'm not saying there aren't people, people. That, that deserve pro cards. And mm. people, because there definitely are. It's yep. just that um, we're not just going to say you win your class, you get a pro card. Okay. Yep. That. And we have, we have a limited number that we can give out in total. Sure. The overall winners will be the most likely to be considered, obviously. But yes. we also have the ability, if there are an, the quality there, to give mm. someone who didn't win the overall uh, a a pro card as well um and yeah so look it's it's one of those things it's a like 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 you said and like stephanie said it's really about the prestige of the federation we mm-hmm. don't want you know we we want people to to compete with us that really enjoy bodybuilding that really enjoy the sport that really want to excel and really want to go further um you know, it's 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 all well and good stepping on stage as a oh look I dieted and you know this is what I've done a transformation kind of thing that's amazing. WMBF isn't really for you, and I hate to say it, but it's not. We don't do a transformation um, class. We don't do stuff. Yep. Like that. It's you're you're in this to 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 succeed and improve yourself and in, in that in that in that level. That might sound a little bit negative in a way, but it's just the, the way that... Well, it's, it's more being true to bodybuilding, you know? Yeah, absolutely, to so the roots, yeah. Yeah, exactly. The roots of bodybuilding. Bodybuilding existed long before PEDs ever came on the scene. Yeah, you know, absolutely. In our form, it's a sport. You know, some people will say it isn't. Um, but yeah, we, we just want to keep to the true essence of what bodybuilding is and the challenge. 100%. And then you want to be when when you see people stepping on stage, you know everybody has an amazing physique. Everyone looks great. They've dieted down. They've done all these things. But you really want to be blown away when you see people. You want to be like, oh my god, it's unreal. You yeah, know? one thing for yep. me because I've competed in multiple times. I'm not a WBF pro yet. I've competed in plenty of shows. I've yep. third outside pro card. Uh, you know the the guy that won my class at Worlds. He went on to win his overall and won the pro card. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You know, and that's and, and good on them. And it just left me even more hungry. Um, the fact that I that I haven't that I've still got. You know, I probably could have chosen an easier show to do than the World Championships mm. to win a pro card. I could have gone to America and competed in a lower one. But yep. for me, it's it's that that challenge. And I think that if you just if if we all of a sudden burst onto the scene and we have six pros, yeah. yeah that's, that, well, I mean, that's here's the thing: we could. You, you, who knows? Well, that's I guess that's possible, isn't it? You know, Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah, yeah. Well, that that brings me to another question. Like, what in terms of the level of interest you've had up to this point? Are, are the majority of competitors that have registered from New Zealand, or are you getting some international interest as well? We've had a lot of uh, questions from India. <laughs> oh, really? Of all yes, places? Yes, because, yeah, because they, uh, there's, there is there's, a WMBF. There's a WMBF. There, there is, yeah, yeah. But a lot of them, a lot of the people that have requested have been asked for a letter for a visa and then tried to get it. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. But now, now, look, they may well have wanted to compete, but it, the way it works in WMBF is if you have affiliate in your country, you yep. have to compete with them. You can't go, oh, I want to compete over here, so I'm going to go compete with France. You have to compete. Sure. Yeah, that's how yep. it's happened. So with Australia... It's kind of a little bit of a loophole there because WMF they, Australia they didn't, exist, yeah. they didn't exist when we started. So yep. we put off Australian computers the option. 
Um, so, but the, yeah, to, to answer that, no, the, the majority of them mm. are from New Zealand. Most, most okay. of them, and because we've decided that we we decided to do this one in Christchurch, one because we didn't know if Auckland was going to be closed down from COVID at the time right. we decided this, because our government and and just like in Australia, they're very strict on the large cities, and mm-hmm. and that's fine. But we just didn't want to risk being shut down. You know, something happening, and 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 normally it's the large centres in New Zealand that 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 get hit first. So that was one of the reasons. But also, we live here. It's a lot yep. easier for us to do the, <laughs> us to do the first show where we yeah. know the absolutely area, people yeah. that we can rely on for support. We will we will look to expand. We, well, again, you know, we we were coming from the whole um, I, I suppose ethos of making things easier for competitors, looking after the competitors because we're competitors first and foremost. Of course, yeah. Well, you know that side very well. Like you know, and we we just want to make it the best that we can. And yep. I think federations like the WMBF they kind of make you feel like a superstar, you know, you're their bread and butter and they know that, you know, they're giving you a platform, but they're also appreciating and looking at all the hard work and the weeks of prep and all the effort that people are putting in. Yep. And I just want people to get on that stage and have a great time, you know, Unreal. You know yourself, you've prepped this, this, you know, weeks, and then you're just going to get on for a minute on the stage. And yeah. You want you're to not just a it. number. No, you're not. Who's and, that? And, no. and, and it won't just be, it, given given the size and the interest of the uh, of our show, it's it's a small show. We've got a small close venue. We want everyone to be really mm. close. We want the crowd to be really close to the competitors. Yep. Um, it might not look extremely extravagant in terms of the size, but when you're in this arena that we've got, it's so mm. close, and it, it's also um, the music will be blaring. It'll be really, um, it'll be it'd be really good to be on stage and knowing that you can actually see everyone right there. Yes. They can almost touch you. It's going to be like that. So well, again, you know, mm. coming back to the competitor experience and what WMBF NZ is going to offer, we have really taken the time to look at judges as well. Judges yep. are not going to be somebody else's coach. They're not going to have any favorites. They're not going to pick you because you have like 10,000 followers on Instagram. Or mm. These are going to be, 100% impartial judges, but also judges with a passion for bodybuilding and experience. We, we want our judges to have a good resume. It's not like mm. somebody who's gone to the gym or, you know, likes bodybuilding and we're going to have them sit on the judging panel. You're going to be judged by the creme de la creme, really. And I mean, look at who's on the panel. You've got the president of the federation here, a mm. uh, Professor Eric Helms. Eric Helms. I've met Eric. He's a brilliant man. Yeah. yeah unreal and to to even have him sitting there on the panel like so WMBF NZ is making history and then you're going to come before a panel like this and be judged and know that your placing then has been given by people like that Um, even down as far as like partnering with tanning people and makeup and the venue and we've really really thought about it from the competitors aspect we're not going to just give you you know, any old person that's going to spray tan, I'm going to be walking around the venue just so people know. Um, and I'm going to be checking in with competitors. I'm going to ask you if you're happy with your tan. How yep. is, it? is there anything you need? Can I get you anything at all? That's fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, that was going to be, you've segued into my next question. We'll have, yeah. we'll have, you know, we're, we're going to have a table in the pump up room with jellies with. Well, well we thought about that. No, sorry. Like, no, 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 no. Go for all this you know something? He's a liability. He is on, on, on things. <laughs> like he is a PR nightmare. No, nah, right? we'll Listen, give them whatever just, they want. Just, just edit, <laughs> edit him out. And before I lose my my reputation, you can edit that bit out that you talked about earlier. <laughs> I swear to you know. But um, you didn't we, fail it. Here, you, just listen, a, you just had an issue early on. You didn't. <laughs> um, and I don't want to make it seem now that mistakes can happen just no. no. They, they don't, no. right? So we can no. just edit that out completely. Um, yep. so we're giving people the wrong idea now. <laughs> um, but no, we talked about having like things like rice cakes and peanut butter and that backside, but then we might interfere with a judge's protocol or sorry, uh, Coaches. coaches yeah but the other thing is well even though we have a small venue we're basically saying to our athletes you can have your coach with you you can mm. bring your coach into the backstage area or we're going to have a person manning your green room essentially which is fully mirrored wall to wall um, unreal we're going to be in there 
Uh, the tanners we're going to put in there as well. So if you feel like, you know, your tan is rubbed or your suit mm. has done something, you can get it touched up. Everything is going to be cool, relaxed. It's all mm. about you. You're the superstars on the day. Yeah, Everything that's sounds real. So no, we won't be doing the whole jellies thing. We did have these great ideas that we were going to do. Then. Pre-workouts, we'll have all of that there. But, yeah, we were off. talking about shots but of pre-workouts. Any, any, um, yeah, yeah. But, you know, then we there. just thought, you know, a coach might say, oh, so in my, in my opinion, if the competitor is going to do that, that's on them. Yep, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Not get a placing and then start blaming us because we gave them the wrong, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. sorry, sorry, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, no we're, we're, we've got it set up, you know. We're, we'll, we'll have we'll have water. We'll just have we'll have just just the things that you kind of need. Yeah. yeah we'll have we, we to basically tap. have a fantastic yeah. team of volunteers as yeah. well who are going to be there at the show. Um, Unreal. Just guiding you. From the room to the stage, and yeah, you'll just be yep. for the whole time. Just... Oh, I'm very excited! I can't wait to get over there. It'll be it'll be such a wonderful experience. Um, so in terms of the foreseeable future, like obviously there's a level of interest in this show, and I'm assuming that that's going to then generate more interest, um, you know, for seasons to come. What what is your ambition, intention with the WNBF in New Zealand? Do you want to run it in multiple cities? Um, in one season or do you want to run it over the two seasons or how do you see it moving forward um yeah absolutely i think a, a whole north north island south island you know north island champ south island champ and yeah yeah world championship at the at the end like um definitely something like that and maybe leading into like an oceania championship and just having like a battle you know from the time you win, say, a South Island show, knowing that yep. that's taking you up a level and up a level each time. And just Absolutely. Giving, giving a competitor something to, to battle for, you know? I always 100%. thought an interesting thing would be, and this is just, this, is, this is straight up off the cuff here, I always thought it'd be really interesting to have two judges from a, a, a different federation, two judges from WMBF and competitors from both federations. Right, like a, a federation versus federation battle. Um, and that's all taboo. You can't do that kind of thing. No, that'd be good. Super Bowl. Um, who's better? <laughs> 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 that's probably never. That's probably never going to happen. But I, no, we're all, we're all for the South Island, North Island, and the yeah. national championships, and then in Oceania as as probably like a. a, a I think it just adds to the like prestige, that. doesn't it? You know. Yeah, like, absolutely. Show. And then I went on to battle it out with the best from the North Island. And, you know, then we did the whole Oceania thing. and It, it, keeps it does. It adds more prestige. You're right. And, I mean, I, I know there's uh, some of the, the Southeast Asian countries have WMEF in them too, don't they? the Philippines and, and Indonesia and stuff. So there's an opportunity maybe there as well. Like, yeah, yeah the, the growth <laughs> is... It, it, yeah. Like, you know, coming from Ireland, um, I know there's federations over there that have a Europeans. So oh, okay. Yep. There's nationals, a Europeans, and a world's. So when you go, obviously, how many countries are in Europe? You know, it goes in stages like that. We could do something like that mm-hmm. here where we do a nationals and then we do a, a, an Asia-Pacific type thing and then the Worlds. That's exciting. Yeah, I suppose it's all about timing too, isn't it, to make sure everything lines up and you're not, um, I guess, overlapping with ICN and the other shows or anything like that. But This is the thing. This was another challenge for us as well. Um, and what I have seen is we chose our date and made sure it didn't conflict with other mm. federations. Um, we put our show at the end of the calendar. And now what I've seen when I've spoken to a couple of people who I've seen uh, on Instagram, they're from New Zealand, they're competing. And I thought, they're amazing athletes. Their physique is incredible. I'd love to see them on our stage. And when I've asked them, it's been a, a whole money thing. They've spent their money doing these shows. Yeah, good point. And now they don't have any money at the end of it. So it might be something that we need to consider next year is trying to get in there first. Well, people yep. are um, to the point where they're getting over-dieted. Yeah, yeah. and they're talking about it, you know? You know That's what it's like? <laughs> your, your mental health starts to take yeah. a little bit of a... Oh, of course it does. Yeah. Of course it does. Um, yeah. absolutely but that's that's a very good point like um you know but but to secure the date obviously you need the venue you need everything needs to line up so there's a lot of back-end logistics that you guys have to work through to, to lock that date down don't you in the first year like as i said when we wanted to choose people to partner with and um, to give that whole experience to the competitors that took us a while because i had to go and vet all these people you know were they good enough for me to recommend you can go and you know have your tan done by this person or your 
you know, then again, yep. we won't have to do all this next year. We'll have made all these connections. We no, that's right. Exactly. Made, we do yeah, the trophies made. Uh, yep. what, you know, do, pricing had, of all the stuff, the costs. It's actually, and, it's like a, it's like a little business where you go, you, you're just trying to break even. Yeah. That's all you're really trying to do. And then, yep. and then you go, starting not out, have as, it out as a whole shoestring looking yeah. kind of. So, no, we well, don't want that, do you? No. You want the, the, and that's the thing. We we even like, like when we when we attempted to do the Auckland one, mm. we, were gonna, we were gonna cover the cost of the polygrapher. And yeah. now we realise that's actually not practicable. No. And this federation was actually attempted to be started in New Zealand uh two thousand two thousand and nine that we... and they didn't get oh, off well. the ground. They didn't get okay. so under. So we've had a couple of years trying and yeah. not, just but not that's one thing that we'd done. love to do in the future. If we if we generate enough interest in this is to be able to say to athletes we we'll, we want you to be polygraphed and, and don't worry about the cost of that. Yeah, and we'd also like to get to the point. So that's where another we, we cost pay, that we have to look at. We can at. pay for competitors to compete. Yeah, wow. well, we can support a portion of the travel costs. We can, you know, that's those what sort we of want things. in the future. We want you in your full yep. uh, New Zealand tracksuits down over. Uh, you know, your robes, everything just branded, given to you, and um, flying over to LA as part of team. How good. You know, this is really what we want to ultimately bring at the end is that whole, you know, experience for the team team. experience. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. It's on the flight together. You're all in your tracksuits, you know, definitely. It would be, it would be really cool. And if we, and and then we have, um, because when we flew over there, there was a team, there was a team from Australia, the women's team from Australia and they had their tracksuits and their colors. Yep. Yeah. Irish ones. So it'd be really cool to have a New Zealand, Australia team over there and. Absolutely. You're Absolutely not. Nah. camaraderie. You meet people. You yeah. meet people that are really like minded as well and have yep. same thought process and you learn from them. Um, oh, I totally agree. Really- well, some of my closest friends now I've, I've met over the years I've been competing, you know, because we've all got similar interests, you know. It's, yeah. um, it's really cool. Um, but I, I, I love the, the, the concept of obviously, you know, the, the, the cross Tasman rivalry and things like that where, um, you know, it, it hopefully, uh, you know, because I coach as well, so hopefully maybe I've got an opportunity to bring some athletes to you guys um, yeah, yeah. with a, a Team Australia to do an Oceana or something like that. Like, that'd be, that'd be, awesome. that'd be yeah. brilliant. Like, not only is it good for the natural bodybuilding scene, but tourism as well, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's start getting things back, you know, to the way they were. Like, Yeah, you know? totally agree. Totally agree. Like, we're, we're coming over um, next Thursday and then we're, we're flying back on Sunday, but we're going to try and squeeze in as much tourist stuff as we can once I'm done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah absolutely. I, I, Are you staying in the host hotel? Uh, no, that? no, we're going to st- we're staying in the city. Yeah, it's just me and my wife, and we're going to stay in the city. Um, I can't remember the name of the hotel that I booked, but it's not. It's like five minutes drive from from the yeah, venue. Nothing, so like like nothing's in Christchurch. Everything. So they say it's a city, but it's it's everything's relatively close. In yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I was looking on the map, going right. I want to be close. Don't be too far. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, you'll be actually, tired and you'll be just wanting just to, to bang, 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 finish, done, eat. Oh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have reserved an area for um, to say thank you to our volunteer team. Um, so we've reserved an area at a local place. I think it's like... Literally just down the road from... It's down the, the road. And, the, and that's oh, okay. We chose it. It's like a bar slash restaurant. Yeah. But, I mean, anybody attending the show or competing at the show you're welcome to come along um, but there is obviously that like we both know that when we competed in the food fixation that oh you just happens, want to go people and get will food, people yeah. would have already planned out exactly yeah. what they're going to have then of then, course then, then, <laughs> they'll have after the show so well see that's the that's the interesting thing about being in a foreign city i don't know any of the restaurants or anything so i'm going to have to wing it a little bit yeah, and going forward, this is what we try to do. We've got obviously the coffee thing on board, and um, but we try to get some like food places, and, oh, yeah. you know, uh, again in in the foyer, we wanted to fill it out with um people selling merchandise like the the shoes, yep. the, the the suits. The, Great idea. The, these are all the ideas yeah. that we have. We want to make it like a big kind of Almost. experience. And, oh like, yeah, around the, like mm. the arena that people are going to be in. Everything is just going to be about bodybuilding your your time mm. your suits equipment gym memberships uh food just yeah. you know everything but we but we also have to be realistic and that that that's not possible to do straight away not straight no. away no. we're at the beginning but the we're potential is there we're not multi-millionaires yet no. so to just throw you know that's <laughs> um you know although 
she probably wants us to be millionaires very soon. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of um, yeah, there's a lot and, that goes and, into and it. We, we have a we have a lot only of only because I'm going to spend yeah, of course on the on the competitors. Yeah, That's yeah. Like, hey, look, you know, to take on a beast like a bodybuilding show, you've got to have aspirations, haven't you? Absolutely. And look, to be honest with you, the guys spend hardly anything on what what the women's are. Five hundred dollars for a suit. Like, yeah, much I know. Dollars, Make, it was a thousand dollars. Makeup, makeup. Yeah, yeah. hair, makeup, yeah. tan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the whole lot. The guys we rock up in board shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he did try the year oh. that we both competed together in that photo shoot. He got um, Swarovski crystals added to his trunks because he wanted. Hey, there you go. I got I got matching trunks. She 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 went with purple and pink, and I was like, no purple. No. Oh. <laughs> No, it was but it's a new black. He, he wanted to outdo me on the Swarovski cigar. He had his little Swarovski design going on his truck. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's why I got third. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got marked down. <laughs> oh, unreal. Well, guys, I won't take up. Looking forward to having you over, by the way. Paul. Yeah. Thank, oh, you, thank you for registering yeah, and, and and thanks for having me on this podcast yeah, as well. Oh, right? no problem. No, no, I thought it would be a great idea, sort of just to get. Um, more interest from our yeah, side, you know. We really yeah. appreciate it. And, and we really want to push it out uh, to your audience as well that WNBL Australia has started. And there yes. is an Instagram, Facebook, you want to get on and just start yep. with that because that will kick off and yeah. um, yep. there'll be opportunities next next season. Um, next season, absolutely. No, it'll be great. It'll be <laughs> such a, a wonderful opportunity to uh, to compete with another federation and obviously one with such a high standard and such an international presence too, which yeah. is um which is going to be very exciting. So hopefully... um. We'll see more of each other in the in the coming years, I suppose. You know, but and congratulations um, oh, on your win last week as well. I saw that. I was uh, started uh, middle of September uh, in Townsville. I won. I competed last weekend, but uh, I got a fourth. But I'll take it. Yeah, I'll you take look, it. You look very good. So we, yeah. we we still look out at everyone, especially yeah. people that are going to be competing with us. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, we're yeah. Not, no, I can't wait. Like it's. I've, you know, I've, I've had to research because your your uh, posing criteria is slightly different to what I'm used to as well. So there's going to be a few changes I've got to make. So you know, that just adds to the challenge, which is exciting. Yeah, yeah and and we are just to, to add to that. Yeah, definitely strict on the posing, and especially for the the mm-hmm. bikini ladies. Um, just you know, be classy on stage. And yeah, here's your physique. We've tried to make it make it clean and simple. Like we have our stage. We we have the stage walks. We want them to be really clear to people because I, yeah. I know from competing myself every show is is run slightly differently and with yes the with how people go on what side you go on from where you actually walk to we try and make it nice and clear so if people are following us that you should see that especially we've got bikini and, and um men's physique up there where you walk where it will be how it will sort mm-hmm. of run. i've you know, seen that yep there'll be there'll be bodybuilding there'll be fit body there'll be figure as well um, yep. or men's physique the music will just be um what we select basically for that sort of thing that's how they normally that's how we would normally roll with that but um for, for bodybuilding and and fit body there'll be either 30 second or 45 second um clips music selected and there'll be oh, yeah. going out to the competitors unreal uh, this weekend yes. requesting um that if you don't submit it then we'll choose you know 30 second <laughs> for you um the so. wiggles yeah, we're, yeah we're, we're, you'll be coming on stage to the Wiggles. The Wiggles, hot yeah. potato. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if you can post to that. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so, oh. so yeah, there'll be all that sort of thing. But we're we're also very big on um, you know, one thing you said before, and uh, and you know, you, you you get a short amount of time on stage. Mm. Um, both myself and Eric will, and um, our mystery judge. You know, we've got three. We had originally well, four as well. I think we'll have four. I'll be actually sitting at the yeah. at the table. Um, okay. So I think it's good to, for the female categories. Um, I think it's good to have yeah. um, a female perspective. But we, yeah, of course. We really want, um, you know, when you're when you're on stage, it won't just be boom, boom, boom. See you later. Thank you very much, guys. You'll be yep. pretty hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just just for the fact that like you're on stage now. Yeah, and one and one thing that I'm interested in is who can endure the most while they're up there and still keep that smile, especially men's physique. Hundred percent, hundred percent. From what I've seen, one of the one of the difficult things is to smile and yeah. even yep. look like you mean it for yep. you know, when you're up there tensing. Yeah. Very difficult skill. It is. <laughs> it is. You let your uh, your fa- your face relax when you do your rear pose, so that way you can uh, regenerate the energy for the front again. <laughs> Small trick. <laughs> oh. 
Unreal. Well, guys, I won't take up any more of your time because I know it's later over there than it is over here. And I um, I know you've probably got a mountain of work to do between now and uh, and next weekend. But uh, thank you very much for your time. Um, you. Final question I do pose to every guest that I have on the podcast, and that is personality based around who you would invite over to dinner. So you can have a couple each if you like. Now, it can be male, female, fictional, non-fictional, alive or dead. Um, just someone who you'd like to have a meal with and a good conversation with. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to be really boring. I actually, we, we sat and we tried to work this out and Simon hit the nail on the head because he said five years ago, I could have answered it like that. And, uh-huh. and I have to say, as a new, new-ish new mom, I have a toddler and uh, dinners with anybody are few and far between. <laughs> if I got the opportunity to have a dinner, it would be with Simon. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. That's a good answer. I'd have to dinner. And we'd probably sit there all night and talk about our son. But there you go. So um, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> um, no, to, to be honest, like, like, like Steve said, I thought about this and I was like, five years ago, I used to idolize certain yeah, people. And you, and you go, I think you go through that. And yeah. there, are, there are lots of people that I look up to now. Yeah. But I look up to them in so many different ways. And I think live or dead as well. Some controversial people. Yeah, some controversial. Oh, yeah, some big time. That, that yeah, might, yeah. might upset a few people if he says who he actually wants to bring to dinner. Oh, oh yeah. okay. I, no, I, look, I'd love to have. No, don't. No, listen. <laughs> You're welcome to. I've had Donald Trump and I've had Mahatma Gandhi. I've had like. One, one of them might might be in there. No, nah, okay. I well, I like you. Yeah, you know, Donald Trump would be all right to have dinner with. Yeah. But um, I don't think he chooses very good meals. He'd steak with tomato sauce or something. Like <laughs> he probably would, actually. Yeah, so. Um, he does put Frank's hot sauce, though. So that'd be you. Um, I, I, look, I, like, I, 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 the same. I would love to. I would love to just have a, a night dinner. And then uh, the rest of the evening, and that kind of thing with Steph. The, the person, if I was to choose a person that wasn't my wife, I would probably go at the, at the moment, probably Jordan Peterson, if you know who Jordan ah, Peterson is. I do. Like, yeah. Because he's got, there's a lot you can learn from him, I think. Yep. Uh, and I think he's misunderstood in the way, in, in, in a lot of areas. And I think he's just a very intelligent guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but in saying that, you know, if I was tired and I just wanted to enjoy and not think too much, um, about those sort of things, it would probably just look. I'd just have dinner with her. It would be, it would be lovely. We, we if, you if you didn't want to think too. The last, the last place we went for dinner cost an exceptional. It was, it was very expensive, Actually, and it was, and it was uh, when, when you're not recording. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, no, no. When you, I, I took him out as a treat to somewhere in Christchurch, which I won't recommend. Okay. So don't, yeah, please don't let me get that part show. If that's when you're, not yeah, when, when you're not recording, I'll tell you where this place is. Okay. Right? I'll tell you where to go. Thank yeah, you, yeah, thank yeah. you so much for having us on, Paul. And oh, pleasure. Yeah. No yeah. pleasure. I um because I've been eyeballing your show for a while, hoping that you would obviously start it up this season yeah. when I decided to uh to compete. And yeah, we're we're very excited to come over. Come here, you're going to be part of history as well. Yeah, well, that, um, that's I'm like I'm really excited about that too. You know, for the final show of my season, um, after eight years of competing, you know, I get to top it off with uh. With your your, uh, your WMBF in New Zealand, which is pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely, and a pro card up for grabs. You know, you never, you never know. You never know. <laughs> we're, we're we're really excited. We we a bit of work to do yet. We're, yes. we're, 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 I'm I'm at the point now where I'll be glad when it's over and it's been successful and everyone's happy. Um, yeah, okay. Because you, you kind of when you're doing it, you kind of think we just want them to enjoy themselves. We, yep. you know, we, we've done what we we could here, mm. and you know, we we really want. Yeah, to and as I said, n- know yeah. that you're on a, a level playing field. Yeah, you know, everybody's been through the same, um, you know, thing that you same have. journey. Yeah, exactly same yeah. journey, and you're going to be judged by really highly qualified people totally subjectively no favorites no you know this person coaches that person and yeah and, 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 and is the polygraph that's that's going to be so cool that people well, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a point of difference isn't it now for a natural bodybuilding show you know it's, yep. it's, it's a, there's and an have the prestige that, yeah. of actually being able to say you know yeah. not not as i said before um just call in your show natural with if, you, if we want to be affiliates of WMBF, we have to be a natural yeah you got to meet those standards yeah really and, and to your point earlier you know like you say it's about the athlete like, like any you know sport um, that's based around spectators or participants without them you don't exist so you know the, the better the experience the more likely they're going to refer and come back and talk massive raps about you yeah. And we and we know and we know firsthand exactly what you guys have all been through. And we know yeah. we we know exactly how you feel right now. 
Yeah. <laughs> your lines down here. So, um, <laughs> can you see that, Derek? <laughs> yeah, no, we can, we we know we know where you're at, don't we, babe? Yes. Because we've, yeah. we've we've been there and we've both looked at ourselves in the mirror and go, "Well, what's going on here?" Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the prisoner face. I know, I know. But nonetheless, I am excited. I can't wait. The countdown's on, so it'll be really, really good to uh, to see you guys both in person, but also participate in your show. It's going to be really, really cool. Well, I can't wait. So thank you once again, guys. Really appreciate your time. I'll put um, obviously all the links to um, the site and uh, your socials on the show notes and everything like that. And, and uh, this will drop on Monday. So leading in basically start of peak week for all the athletes. So that's very exciting. Well done. And all the best for that. Yeah, all the best yep. for your peak week. Thank you very much. Thanks again for your time. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Paul. Cheers, Thanks Paul. very much. Best Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye. I'd really like to thank Steph and Simon for their time this evening. You know, with the time difference over there, it was a lot later than in Australia. But um, it's so exciting to see so much passion going into a show and how much enthusiasm they are showing. They're li- letting uh, the athletes that are coming next weekend as well as potential future athletes uh, know that they are here for the long haul and they're really going into the finer detail to make sure the athlete has has an amazing experience and I cannot wait to be a part of their first ever show it's going to be really exciting I cannot wait to get over there experience a little bit of New Zealand but also experience what the WNDF is all about so without further ado I'd like to uh, thank Steph and Simon once again from WNBF New Zealand. Uh, now, if you're interested in obviously following them, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook, um, and their website as well is available to look into. And other than that, as I say to every client every single day, have a great day.